Five months after his mission with the Suicide Squad in Corto Maltese, Christopher Smith, also known as Peacemaker, has recovered from the injuries he suffered there and is discharged from the hospital. Upon returning to his trailer home, Peacemaker is confronted by a group of Argus agents, Clemson Mern, Amelia Harcourt, John Economos, and newcomer Leota Adebayo. Mern gives him the choice of returning to Belle Reve Prison or joining a new mission dubbed Project Butterfly. Peacemaker reluctantly accepts the latter. Peacemaker visits his father, Augie, to retrieve his pet bald eagle, Eagley, and acquire a new outfit. He then has dinner with the team, and Mern gives him a dossier of an assassination target. Peacemaker later attempts to flirt with Harcourt in a bar, but is rejected and instead goes home with a different woman at the bar named Annie. Adebayo privately discusses her role in Project Butterfly with her mother, Argus leader, Amanda Waller. Annie attacks Peacemaker and reveals that she has superhuman strength. In the ensuing fight, Peacemaker activates a sonic boom weapon in his helmet that destroys her. Peacemaker contacts Harcourt and explains his situation as Evergreen's police force arrives to investigate the sonic boom. While collecting his things, Peacemaker comes across a mysterious device in Annie's apartment. Peacemaker briefly takes a couple hostage and is able to escape from their apartment's balcony, getting away with Eagley, Harcourt, and Adebayo. Police detectives Sophie Song and Larry Fitzgibbon investigate Annie's death. They arrest Peacemaker's father, Augie, after Economos switched Peacemaker's fingerprints for his father's in the police system, and Adebayo bribes the couple into identifying Augie as the man who took them hostage. In prison, Augie is hailed by a group of white inmates as the White Dragon. Peacemaker realizes that Annie only tried to attack him after reading the dossier he had on his assassination target and tells the team. Feeling shunned by them, Peacemaker returns to his trailer and is greeted by his one-time crime-fighting partner, Vigilante. Vigilante invites Peacemaker to target practice to raise his spirits, and with him discovers that the device from Annie's apartment is a miniature spaceship. Mern briefs Peacemaker on their first mission, to assassinate United States Senator Royland Goff, a suspected, quote, butterfly. Peacemaker expresses hesitance to kill Goff's wife and children, who are also presumed butterflies, despite previously saying that he was willing to do so for peace. Peacemaker and Harcourt stake out the Goff household and are soon joined by a tag-along vigilante. When the Goff family are seen displaying alien-like behavior, Mern orders Peacemaker to assassinate them all, but he hesitates. Vigilante takes over and successfully kills Goff's wife and children. But before he can kill Goff, the family's bodyguard, Judo Master, intervenes and incapacitates Peacemaker and Vigilante. Inside the house, Goff tries to force Peacemaker to give up information by torturing Vigilante and unmasking him as Adrian Chase. They are interrupted by Mern, Harcourt, and Adebayo, giving Peacemaker the opportunity to free himself and kill Goff, while Economos incapacitates Judo Master. Peacemaker and Vigilante witness a butterfly-like creature emerge from Goff's corpse, and an Argus computer shows that these butterflies are suspected to be all over the world. The group take Judo Master back to their headquarters, where Peacemaker claims that he killed the butterfly. Vigilante drives Peacemaker to Augie's house to retrieve new equipment, where Peacemaker learns that Augie has been framed and arrested. Against Mern's wishes, and despite Adebayo trying to talk him down, Peacemaker visits Augie in prison. Augie threatens to expose Project Butterfly to the police. Adebayo suggests to Vigilante that Peacemaker would be better off without his father, and Vigilante gets himself arrested so he can kill Augie. Peacemaker and Adebayo return to their headquarters, where an escaped Judo Master attacks Peacemaker. Adebayo shoots Judo Master before he can reveal a secret about the butterflies. Peacemaker returns to his trailer, where he is keeping the butterfly creature alive in a jar. He reflects on having to kill Rick Flagg, being trained by his father to be violent, and the death of his brother. In prison, Vigilante provokes Augie's prison mates into fighting 
but fails to get Augie involved. He is later bailed out by Harcourt. Adebayo finds a lead on the butterflies and informs Mern, who is secretly a butterfly himself. At Augie's urging, Song and Fitzgibbon realize that Peacemaker killed Annie after double-checking Augie's fingerprints and re-interrogating the couple that Peacemaker held hostage. The team is briefed about how the butterflies enter human hosts and only feed on an unknown amber fluid. Adebayo's clue leads them to a nearby bottling factory where the liquid is processed and bottled, while Mern enlists an associate, Casper Locke, to pose as the new police captain and undermine Song's investigation. Song resorts to requesting help from her uncle, a judge. Peacemaker uses a helmet with X-ray vision to learn that all of the factory employees are butterflies, as well as an escaped gorilla named Charlie. They kill the employees, and Economos earns Peacemaker's respect by killing Charlie with a chainsaw. The team bond on their way back from the factory, and Peacemaker invites Adebayo to drink at his home, where she advises him to be nicer to others. She also secretly plants a diary in his home, as ordered by Waller. Returning to the office, Autobio discovers with Peacemaker's X-ray helmet that Mern is a butterfly, and he attacks her. Mern reveals to Autobio that the butterflies came from a dying planet, and the goth butterfly led the others in a plan to dominate Earth, with Mern being the sole dissenter. To Locke's dismay, Song releases Augie from prison and acquires an arrest warrant for Peacemaker. At Peacemaker's trailer, the goth butterfly attempts to communicate with Peacemaker and Vigilante, but the Evergreen police force arrives to arrest Peacemaker. Vigilante accidentally breaks the butterfly's jar, allowing it to take over Song. Peacemaker, Vigilante, and Eagly escape with Locke's help, while the latter acquires the fake diary. Economos traces the butterfly's activities to Coverdale Ranch, where they believe the butterflies are using a cow to mass-produce the amber fluid. Adebayo feels guilty about hiding secrets from Peacemaker and her mother. Butterfly-controlled Song summons a butterfly army and takes over the Evergreen police force, prisoners, and Locke. Augie prepares his followers and puts on the white dragon armor, intending to kill his son. Butterfly-controlled Locke uses the fake diary to publicly incriminate Peacemaker and issue an arrest warrant. Feeling betrayed by Adebayo and running out of time, Peacemaker sets out to find the cow with Vigilante, Eagly, and a reluctant Economos. They are intercepted by Augie and his followers. Harcourt confronts Adebayo on her secret mission and betrayal, learning of her relationship to Waller in the process. Mern attempts to leave with them, but the butterfly-possessed police arrive and kill him. Judo Master then attacks Harcourt and Adebayo, who eventually defeat him. Peacemaker is caught by Augie's followers, and Eagly is injured by Augie. Vigilante hits a weak point in Augie's armor, disabling his weapons, while Economos kills Augie's followers. Peacemaker confronts Augie about the events that led to Peacemaker accidentally killing his brother Keith when they were children and then he kills Augie. The team reunites at a veterinary clinic where Eagly recovers. Without Mern, they appoint Harcourt as their new leader. They prepare to kill the cow before the butterflies can teleport it to another enclave. Adebayo tries to apologize to Peacemaker, but he tells her that their friendship is over. Adebayo contacts Waller and requests that the Justice League or other backup be sent, but there is not enough time. Economos plants Peacemaker's Sonic Boom helmet at the butterfly's base, but it fails to kill the cow. Peacemaker, Harcourt, and Vigilante begin an assault, killing many butterflies. But Harcourt and Chase are seriously injured, and Adebayo is forced to fight to save Harcourt. Butterfly-controlled Song spares Peacemaker and explains that the butterflies are protecting the planet from humans who prioritize profit over their own survival. She asks for his help but Peacemaker decides to kill the cow by launching Adebayo into it using his human torpedo helmet. Peacemaker shoots Song's body, sparing the goth butterfly. The Justice League arrive too late to help. Harcourt, Economos, and Vigilante undergo medical treatment, while Peacemaker and Adebayo make amends. Adebayo then exposes Project Butterfly, 
Task Force X, and Waller's role in both to the press, clearing Peacemaker's name. Peacemaker returns home with Eagly and the Goff Butterfly, who he feeds the last of the amber fluid. The season ends with Peacemaker haunted by hallucinations of Augie.